Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Devotional this morning. I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the Daily Devotional with the Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is May 16th, 2024, Thursday. The theme of today's devotional is God's healing power. The scripture is from 2 Kings chapter 20, verses 1 through 5. In those days, Hezekiah became sick and was at the point of death. The prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, came to him and said to him, Thus says the Lord, set your house in order, for you shall die, you shall not recover. Then Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. Remember now, O Lord, I implore you how I have walked before you in fullness, faithfulness with a whole heart and have done what is good in your sight. Hezekiah wept bitterly. Before Isaiah had gone out of the middle court, the word of the Lord came to him, Turn back and say to Hezekiah, Prince of my people, Thus says the Lord, the God of your ancestor David, I have heard your prayer, I have seen your tears. Indeed, I will heal you. On the third day you shall go up to the house of the Lord. Amen. Today's story is from uh, Dino, who lives in South Africa. My elder brother's death was the first big loss we experienced as a family, and his death hit us hard. It was difficult to imagine not being able to see or talk, talk to my brother, even for him to annoy him to annoy me as he did most of the time. In the weeks following my brother's death, I held on. I held on to these words in Isaiah 40, 40, 43, 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. The river of death certainly didn't sweep over us. Instead, through my brother's death, my family remembered how much we loved him and we started healing together as a family. My brother's passing through a light, what was important, and we tried to rebuild and reconnect as a family. We have been praying for healing. Following my, my brother's death, God's healing power has drawn my family together in love. Amen. It was not easy for him, uh, Dino, uh, to endure the time and face the time of uh, his brother's, brother's death. Actually, when we face our loved one's fa uh, death, it is very hard for us. And we get hurt from that. And we feel <clears throat> the emptiness in our heart. And we don't know what to do. It is not only because of uh, someone's death, but also we get hurt from uh, others, sometimes from ourselves, our uh, thoughts. We, our mental, our minds, and our souls be in danger or stressed. How many times did you hear uh, the word 
mental health. Since a pandemic happened, people find that, have found that our mental health is very important. So try to make, uh, make sure that our mental health they try to this and that. Even at the school, um, the preschool, elementary, middle, and high school, uh, there is some uh, there is some guide uh, for students' mental health because they are also get stressed from their schoolwork or the other work. Church family, it is not easy to heal the hurt in our heart because we cannot see them. If we cut the outside, I mean our hands or uh, skin, we put the ointment, the healing ointment, then it will be okay. But many people don't know how to deal with the hurt on our, you know, in our hearts. Where can you find the healing? Who can heal your heart, heart your, your wound in your heart? You know what? We have God. The Almighty God, our Creator, our Lord, our Savior. The God can heal us, not only our body, but also our mind, our souls, and our spirit. When we recovered from some uh, trouble, it is not only the time goes. Uh, there are many people who has trauma because of certain things and events and suffer from that trauma in their whole life. If you are healed, if your hearts are healed, it is God's work, God's spirit's work, not something else. Church family, whenever you have some hard things in your heart, whenever you get hurt in your heart, come to God and ask God to heal you, your heart, your soul. There is something that you cannot say to any other people, any other family member in your life, maybe. Just come to God and pour out your heart. Pour out your heart. Then God will heal you. Then God will let you know how God is with you, how God will handle that, and how God heal heals that. We have God. As the children of God, we have the privilege that we are be healed by God. Because our God is gracious, and our God is wonderful, and our God is almighty to handle even our souls matter, our hearts matter. Everything. God has the healing power and God is ready to give you, I mean, to use His power for us to heal us. Just ask. Pour out your heart on God by prayers. Just say to God, what makes you hurt and what feel you have and what emotions do you, do you have? And ask God, Lord, help me. I am dying. I need your help. I cannot handle this. Please help me. I also have that kinds of experience a lot. I usually come to God and God gives me peace, grace in our heart and let us, let me experience God's love, the abundant love again and again. And give me the peace, give me the assurance, and give me the confidence of God's protection, God's provision, and God's love. Church family, we are God's children, and our God 
has the healing power and is ready to use that for us. So just come to God and ask God and you will be healed. Sometimes it takes time. Sometimes it's right away. But I am sure God will heal you in God's ways. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for your healing presence in our times of trials and for the assurance that you will always be with us. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope you have a great day and I uh, see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.